All right, so in this video, we're going to do an example of a problem. So we mentioned how to write um, C1 cosine omega t plus C2 sine omega t in a different form. So we're going to do all that. Uh, so this is my IVP. So I've got uh, 3x double prime plus 12x equals 0. Now, in some of the questions that you're going to see, they're going to have you figure out the m and the k. Uh, m is the mass, k is the spring constant, sometimes called the stiffness. Sometimes they'll tell you uh, you used a force of however many newtons to, to move it, you know, x to the left or x to the right. You're just going to use Hooke's Law and figure out what uh, k is based on that. Okay? All right, so... Uh, but on a test, on an assessment, if I ever gave you an assessment, I would give you this equation. I don't need you trying to figure out the physics behind it. Alright, so the characteristic equation is 3r squared plus 12 equals 0. So r squared is going to be 4. So uh, negative 4, sorry. So r is going to be plus or minus 2i. Okay? So my homogeneous solution, general solution, is C1 uh, cosine 2t plus c2 sine 2t. And we're going to go ahead and find c1 and c2 based on this. So um, the derivative of that would be minus 2c1 sine 2t plus 2c2 cosine 2t. And using my initial condition, so in the top equation here, xg, uh, if x is 0 is 1, then 1, cosine is going to be 1, sine is going to be 0. So 1 is C1. And the second equation, negative 2, sine 0, cosine 1. So is equal to 2, C2. So C2 equals negative 1. And I purposely made this one to come out kind of nice and pretty, but they probably won't always. All right, so my... Uh, General, so my solution, my particular solution, would be that x equals um, cosine 2t minus sine 2t. So my c2 is, c1 is 1, c2 is negative 1. Alright, so to find r, um, c1 squared plus c2 squared is 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. That's 2, and that's r squared. So r equals root 2. Okay, I can already answer that's the amplitude. In fact, I can already come back here and say 2 pi over 2 equals pi, that's the period. Uh, but I'll write those down in the end. Alright, the other part, phi, the phase shift. Tangent of phi, that's supposed to be c1 over c2, which is 1 over negative 1. So phi is the arctan of negative 1, which is negative pi over 4. With the exception that, remember, C2 is negative. C2 is negative. That means I have to add pi to it. Okay? So, uh, let's write everything down. So, um, so let me say phi star is that. Phi, what, what do we get when we add pi to that? 3 pi over 4? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, my solution here in this form is root 2 sine of 2t plus 3 pi over 4. Okay, my amplitude is root 2. My phase shift is 3 pi over 4, my period, that's 2 pi over 2, which is pi, and of course I didn't ask, but frequency would be 1 over that, so 1 over pi. Okay.